Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Conversations with author Rajesh Talwa with us. And today we are going to talk about the book Harvard, Oxford and Cambridge, The Past, Present and Future of Excellence in Education. So Rajesh, the title is um, really interesting. So when is the book you know, going to be published? Uh, thanks, Ananya. I thought uh, in these short videos uh, of each university that I've been to, among the three which form the title of the book, uh, I could just give you a five-minute you know, preview so that uh, readers can also get an idea about what this book is about. Much in advance, I should add, because the book will only get published around the middle of next year. So Rajesh, normally um, your books come out uh, really soon. So why is this book particularly taking longer? Uh, thanks, Ananya. Actually, the thing is that although I have studied in many universities for shorter and longer durations, uh, including Delhi University, Harvard, Oxford, Cambridge, Nottingham, SOAS, London School of Journalism, all kinds of places. Uh, but, uh, and I've taught also in university in Jamia Millia Islamia for three years, in Delhi University for three years. But at the same time, I, don't, I haven't worked really in the field of education. So it has been a bit of a challenge uh, for me to write this book. And uh, I plan to consult various deans, professors uh, from all the places I studied at uh, to get their inputs because uh, of course, it's easier relatively to talk about my experiences in these three universities, but to write about the past, present and future of excellence in education, I need to get everything right. Okay, Rajesh, so um, this is a short interview. Uh, so I just want to know about your experience in Howard. How was it? What was so special about it? Thanks, Ananya. Uh, you know, Harvard, I went to do a course in negotiation, mastering negotiation. That was the course. Uh, I went on behalf of the UN. I've been working for the UN in peacekeeping missions, as you know, for many years. And uh, uh, it was a fascinating course. Uh, I dealt with the commercial aspects of negotiation, but also how you negotiate in peacekeeping areas, which was part of the UN mandate in Afghanistan. Uh, and in other places. I have to say that the course itself was very interesting, but just to give you an idea about what's special about Harvard is that once the course finished, I mean, once our class is finished for the day, we would have various options. There would be Professor Joseph Nye, who taught uh, many famous people, including Ban Ki-moon. He would be giving a talk at the Howard Kennedy Center. You'd have the Iraqi defense minister giving a talk somewhere else. You'd have the prime minister of Finland giving a talk in another school. You'd have the newest billionaire giving a talk at Harvard Business School. So you had these choices at the end of the day, where to go. Uh, did you want to just go to a pub and catch up with your friends? Or did you want to listen to these guys and then go? Obviously, you wanted to go and listen to one of these famous people, one of these brilliant people talk. And this was, it was like this every day. So you were really spoiled for choice. And now my course was not that long. But can you imagine if you are there for a year, every day you are listening to these kind of people speaking, giving their views, sharing their life experiences, at the end of a year, at the end of two years, at the end of three years, you are enriched by what you studied at Harvard, but you're also enriched by the encounters. And, the, and these talks, you have freewheeling discussions. You can raise up your hand and ask a question. And mind you, all these people also are talking about other influential people. To give you an example, uh, when I attended the talk given by Professor Joseph Nye, he was saying, uh, last week, I was with the Clintons, and uh, I was talking to Bill about X, Y, and Z. So uh, I would say uh, this is a very special part of the Harvard experience. 
Okay, Rajesh. So, um, given that we don't have much time left, I will, you know, quickly ask you another question. Um, do you think that there was something else, something different and unique in Harvard as compared to the other universities that you have studied at? Yes, well, uh, there isn't too much time to go into many things, but let me just mention one more thing, which is, I think, very significant. And that is that Harvard keeps in touch with you much more than, say, Oxford and Cambridge do. And Harvard also carries so much influence and power that you get connected to the alumni network to other important people. So I went, for example, for a short course at Harvard, but three months down the line, I was contacted by a German gentleman who said, Rajesh, would you want to be part of the Young Leaders Forum? Uh, we are going to be discussing global issues in four continents. There'll be people from China, Russia, the United States, and two other countries. And uh, I've seen your background, you and alumni, uh, can we hope that you will join. So as a matter of fact, I said I can't join because I'm sorry, but I'm not really in the bracket of young leader anymore. And besides my commitments with the United Nations may not allow me to travel so frequently, it will be too much juggling involved. So then this gentleman wrote back and said, well, thank you very much. Uh, if you can't join, can you recommend somebody else from India? So I was a bit taken aback. I did recommend somebody else uh, and that person joined. Now, but I'm giving you this as an example of how the alumni, being an alumni of Harvard, it creates great opportunities for you in the future. Uh, I'll give you an example of another friend of mine who had been to Harvard uh, to do his doctorate in law. He came back to Delhi University and there he came back to India to practice and his practice was not going very well. Then Harvard started a program of collaboration with Delhi University. And who will they go to but an alum to an alumni? And, uh, you know, so uh, that's the second very big advantage that just the fact that you are from Harvard, it works to your advantage through the alumni network. People get in touch with you. You have opportunities which you might not have got from another university. All right, Rajesh. So that was really nice to know. And I guess being an alumni of Harvard is definitely a great thing. So thank you so much for you know sharing us your insights uh, and your experience with us. Thanks, Ananya, and I look forward to uh, the next episode with about Oxford and then about Cambridge. Thank you.